So let's put it all together. Decomposition takes four steps. It'll look like a lot when I first present it, but the final result will be a lot shorter. So the reason we had to find the numbers, because that's step one of decomposition. So if you look, P, or the product, is generated by multiplying 6 and the 5 together. So the first term, or the value that's on the x squared, and the last term, which is the single constant with no x's on it. So 6 times 5 gives me 30, so the p, or product, here is 30. The sum is the middle term, or the term that's on the x, and it's by itself, so we write that as sum equals 17. So here's my sentence again. I need two numbers that multiply for 30 and add for 17. So possible combinations I've listed, and you can check them all, they all multiply for 30, but only the last one actually adds for 17. Steps two, three, and four I can do on one slide. So now decompose the middle term into the two numbers that are found in step one. So if I start with my 6x squared plus 17x plus 5, which is what I want to try and factor, I decompose the middle term. So you'll notice these two terms here, if you were to collect like terms, would give you 17x and you could be, move right back up a line. Step three, common factor the first two terms, common factor the other two terms. This is the group factoring we just finished in the skill set area. So notice I'm just going to rearrange these and write them side by side. I've just moved the 15x to match up with the five. The order does not matter. It will still produce the same result. I simply did this one to have a little nicer flow in my numbers. So out of the first two terms, we can see that a 2x is common. Out of the second two terms, we can see that a 5 is common. And that leaves us with a bracket 3x plus 1 common to both terms. This is very important to note that these are both the same. If you get something different here, then you cannot proceed. These two brackets must turn out the same. So if I finish this off now, I have a 3x plus 1 common to both terms. I can factor that out front, and I'm left with 2x plus 5 behind. And you can see that I've now gone from a trinomial all the way down to two binomials multiplied together. So I have gone again from an area all the way down to the multiplication of the two, div two dimensions. Let's try this one more time. So I have 6x squared plus 17x plus 5. So step one would be find the product. So 6 times 5, there's my 30. Sum is 17. Step two, decompose the middle term. Step three, group factor. Step four, common factor. That is how long a decomposition will take. Four lines to do the whole thing. It's not as involved as the previous slides. Those were explanations. So decomposition should take you about four lines at most. How do we connect the area model and decomposition? Well, if I have to factor the following, 6x squared minus x minus 2. Remember, that's an area. And if I work backwards from the area model and I find my dimensions, I would come up with these two dimensions. If I do the factoring by decomposition, doing the six or the four steps, it would break down this way. You'll notice I've decomposed the middle terms, group factored, common factored. What's important to see here is that this line right here, if you are to look carefully at the area model, you'll notice we have 6x squareds, there they are, plus 3x all along the bottom, minus 4x or negative 4x's right there, minus 2. So the area model does show up in decomposition. And lastly, our final result are the dimensions that we were looking for.
Our last example here, I want to factor 2x squared minus x minus 3. So if you notice, I've already arranged that into the area model. So if I determine the dimensions of my rectangle, I come up with x plus 1 and 2x minus 3. If I do this by decomposition, again, I come up with the exact same values, a little bit shorter in terms of its process, but again, notice this line. 2x squared, there they are, plus 2x, the two blue x's on the bottom, minus 3x across the right-hand side here, minus 3. So all the parts of the area model show up in the decomposition. This technique will be expanded and reviewed further in MathCast 12. So please proceed to MathCast 12 and you will see more practice examples of just the algebra technique. Thank you for your time. If you have any suggestions, questions, or comments, please send an email to childs underscore math at yahoo.com. Thank you very much.